Have you ever used a yardstick to make a centerpiece or of course a swag? And a yardstick makes a very impressive and large swag. That is what I'm going to be doing today. In case you do not want to use this as a centerpiece and have candles like I'm going to have, you can definitely omit that put in more deco mesh, and maybe put in some signs or some bells or some bows. Fill that area in and use it as a swag. I love this because this is so versatile and you can use it in so many ways. If you are going to use it as a swag, most yardsticks have a hole at the end right here and you can just tie some floral wire or anything you want so you can hang it. With that being said, let's get started on this beautiful yardstick Christmas centerpiece or swag. Here are the supplies we're going to need for the centerpiece or a swag, whatever you are making. Here is a yardstick, two rolls of 10 inch deco mesh. Make sure it's 30 feet or 10 yards. 30 feet is 10 yards. Always look to make sure that it's 30 feet, not 18 feet. Here is the ribbon I'm going to use. They're all one and a half inch. The white one is from Costco. I get this whenever I can find it. Then this beautiful green one is from Joann's and it has little pine cones. Really, really pretty. And this one is 10 yards. And this light burlap ribbon, I got this one from Craft Outlet. If you are doing a centerpiece like I am, you're going to need something to stabilize your candles or if you're going to put little vases, you're still going to need something to stabilize. So I recommend using something like this. You can also use some coasters or anything you have on hand what i have here is it says it's wreath decor and i got it from the garden area where they had all the garden stuff and it has a little hole and then something to hang it with the little felt pieces is what i'm going to hot glue on top right here to hold the yardstick in place the last thing you might want to consider, which is optional, is some greenery. I'm going to be using this frosted fern. This centerpiece is going to be quite large. So what I recommend is definitely stick to three main colors unless you're doing something eclectic or something kind of fun. But I would recommend sticking to three colors. In my situation, my three main colors are green, white, and this beautiful warm burlap. I've been asked before what I use to remove the stick basically you need to apply heat to make the glue a little softer I use an embossing tool this heats up a little hotter and quicker than your hair dryer so you can definitely use your hair dryer but I love using this little tool then I'm just grabbing sandpaper whatever you have on hand is fine and I want to smooth this out to make sure there's no glue left on the surface I'm going to start by attaching my bases for my candle holders. The first one is going to go smack in the center. That's my 18 inches. Then I'm going to move two inches down. The center for this one is going to be 12 inches. And on the other side, the center is going to be 24 inches. Let's attach a little bit of hot glue on top. Attach my little piece of felt. And then I'm doing the sides and just hot gluing straight onto the felt. Now that I know that these are nice and secure, we can start attaching our 18 pipe cleaners. I'm going to be attaching them every six inches. If you're using a yardstick, it's 36 inches. Just start at three inches and go every six inches and you should end at 33 on this side. Let's start attaching the pipe cleaners. The first one I'm going to tie to one side. Give it just two twists and lay it down. The next one is going to go in the middle. I'm going to phase that one up. And then the third one is going to be tied on the other side. Really does not matter what order you go in, but you want one on one side, one on the other, and one facing up. I'm doing the same thing at the nine inch mark. All my pipe cleaners are on. They are attached every six inches and look how nice and even it looks. If you are making a swag, make sure that you hot glue the back. I'm going to be using a piece of felt and I'm just going to place my little felt piece right over. 
Even though I'm going to be using this as a centerpiece, these little felt pieces are going to act as a little buffer between my table and my actual swag. If you're going to be using two of the same type of deco mesh, all you're going to need is 18 pieces of deco mesh cut into 30 inch strips. In my case, color number one is going to be burlap and I'm going to need 10 of these. Color number two is going to be this white and I'm going to need eight of these. And we're going to cut them into 30 inch strips. The way I do my deco mesh is I stick it into a container. This is just an Ikea container. You can use whatever you have on hand. And as far as my mat, my mat is 24 inches with a half inch on the side. So I'm going to grab a ruler and I'm going to put it underneath my mat at five and a half inches. So I have five and a half and this half is going to be six plus 24 is going to be 30 inches. And now for the white. Now we're ready to make our ruffles and we're going to do a set of three. So we're going to do two of the burlap and one white on four of them. And then on two of them, we're going to do two white and one burlap. The four sets that I'm going to do this combo on are going to be the two center ones and the two outside ones. And then the two white and burlap we're going to do on the second sets from the outside. Now it's time to make our ruffles. I always like my deco mesh to roll onto the table. And at the end, I'm going to do just a quick little fold right here, just so that little edge is tucked in. Then I'm going to find my center and I'm just going to start ruffling it up. At the end, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it in just a little bit, like an inch and just bring it together. And I'm going to attach the burlap pieces to the sides. Same thing, a little fold, bring it together. Keep the other end folded also and bring it together. And I'm going to put this ruffle on the other side. Then I'm going to grab a white one, make sure to fold and gather. And this white one I'm attaching to the center pipe cleaner that's sticking up. For this particular swag, the pipe cleaners on the sides, I'm not going to be using anymore. So you can just twist it, cut it off, or just twist it and fold it over. Just like that. It's not going to show because I have a white little ruffle on top and I'm going to do the same thing and hide this pipe cleaner. So now we have burlap, burlap, white. This next one is going to be white, white, burlap. Look how beautiful this swag is so far. Now we're moving to the two center pipe cleaner sets and we're going to do burlap on the outside, white on the inside on both of these. I'm on my last bundle and of course it's going to be burlap, burlap and white in the center. As you can see, this is filled in really nicely. And this is where we start mirroring to both sides. It looks really, really full and beautiful. And if you are using this as a swag, add some ribbon, add maybe a big bow on the side, maybe a sign, some greenery here and there. So just follow your heart and decorate it any way you want. Now we're going to get started on the ribbon. For my centerpiece, I'm going to be using this one as my main ribbon. And then these are just going to help my ribbon stand out depending on whether the bundle is white or burlap. So what we're going to do is we're going to do four white, four burlap, and we're going to do 10, 12 inch strips of my main ribbon. As always, I'm going to measure my 12 inches. Now I'm just going to zigzag until I get 10 strips. Now I'm just going to fold the sides in half and cut a little triangle out. And then we're going to do 12 inch strips, just for each of these two colors. We're going to be attaching our ribbon bundles to the center ruffles. So I'm just preparing my pipe cleaners so I can see them. Starting with the white, I'm going to do one burlap and two of the green. Find my center and just bring it together. Burlap and two green. And I'm going to just twist it up and fold it back. 
And the last one on the other side. We have two bundles left with the burlap curl on top. So we're going to do two white and one green. Bring it together. And here is my last little bundle. You can also add lights to this if you want, but I'm going to have candles in it. So it kind of doesn't make sense to add more lights. You could if you want, but I don't want to. And now I'm going to start opening my bundles up and I like opening it kind of like a flower. My whole first floor is dark green and white. It's so pretty. My ribbon is all on. I'm going to grab my candles and put them in place. Now that everything is set up, I have my candles. So now I can see where everything needs to go. I have my frosted fern. I have some cut up already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in between the first and the second bundle. And then of course around the center because that is our main attraction and between the last two or the first and second on the other side. If you are doing this as a swag, obviously put some hot glue on it and then put it in place. I'm just putting it behind that top curl. Have it stick out a little bit here, a little bit there. to give you an evening look of the centerpiece and it is so pretty i like the way the ferns look as a little accent piece the candles are from costco and here is my view from the couch i have a little christmas tree right there then i have my little village and on the other side i have a little christmas tree that's lit up too so as you can see it's kind of like a nice green and white theme all the little christmas trees right there they're all from the dollar tree and just another look at the centerpiece i think it turned out beautiful I hope you enjoyed this video. In the comments below, I would like to know one of two things. Whether you ever used a yardstick to make a centerpiece or a swag, or if you haven't and not planning on it, what colors are you using for Christmas this year? If you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and of course the thumbs up so that this video grows and my channel grows. If you're still in a mood to watch more read tutorials, I prepared two videos for you right here to choose from. Click on those and have more fun. As for me right now, I want to wish you a very warm and blessed holiday season, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, my sweet friends. Mwah.